If you want to improve your shooting power and accuracy, score more goals. These are soccer shooting drills. In this video, I'm going to show you some soccer shooting drills. And in my opinion, shooting drills are something you should be doing by yourself in your individual training all the time. If you're just going to the field and all you're doing is juggling and a few tricks, you're wasting your time. Your technique might improve, like your basic ball control might improve, but when I, my personal experience, when I'm practicing shooting every time I go to the field by myself, I'm way sharper in games, I'm way more confident in front of goal, I score more goals, I'm more creative, I'm more, I'm more direct, I'm more dynamic. So I would challenge you to practice shooting every time you go to the field. Now, whether that's with a wall, you only have one ball, getting lots of repetitions on a wall, or you have a whole bunch of balls and you're getting those reps. Scoring goals in practice, it's gonna transfer into scoring goals in games. So, a few different soccer shooting drills for you. When I'm starting, I don't just go out and blast the ball, I would start with like a placement in the minute. So maybe you're getting a ball and you're, and you're picking a corner. I usually just have a whole bunch of balls laid out, a little bit of skill, run through. I might go through all these balls, let's say like 10, 15 finishes, or if I wasn't satisfied, if I, had, if I wasn't satisfied with the finishes that I produced, I would just do that again until I was satisfied, then I move on to the next drill. Next one you can do is a good place to start is, to be honest, I don't hit, uh, I probably should uh, hit more free kicks in outdoor definitely, but with you training on Hey, what's up? I hope you're finding this content helpful. Watch this all the way to the end if you want to find out which subscriber got this video's special shout out. Not as realistic, but I don't hit too many dead balls and I would encourage you not to take all your shots from a uh, standstill because it's not realistic. What you should do instead is Get your balls when we get them off the move, whether that's a dribble, a turn after a piece of skill, because that's more match realistic. Okay, let's take these guys out of the way. But, start here, rolling the ball out of your feet. Now, you, now you've warmed up a bit. Now you can put a bit more pace on it, strike it with the laces. So, starting from standstill, roll it, attack the ball. Again, keep rolling until you're satisfied the shots you produce and what am I doing? Both feet all the time. Next one I like to do, and I might even go from a further distance, but for this video is just striking a ball off a dribble. Half for a forward dribble. So sometimes in a game you'll find you're dribbling it's difficult, it's different than shooting the ball in different ways. It's different for me to strike a ball like this. It's different for me to strike a ball forward. It's different for me to strike a ball off a of volley. You have to replicate all these different match scenarios. But running with the ball, I feet, striking with both feet. I'm not satisfied with that, so I'll go again. Still not satisfied with that, so I'll go again. Support in the net every time. The good shots, the top corners, the posts in, in, the crossbar down, those will come, but they'll never come if you're missing the net all the time because you're trying to blast the ball too hard. When I'm training by myself, I always have to tell myself, step back from the power, focus on the technique. Power comes from technique. It doesn't come from just smashing the ball as hard as you can. So moving forward, I would do a shooting off 1v1 skill. So let's put up a defender. Imaginary defender, a cone, a ball, a teammate. But now you're shooting a different scenario. Let me tighten up my technique. But dribbling with a bit of skill, different skills. So let's analyze that. When I miss a shot, I don't just move on, I analyze it. Let me try to do it again. Here, here, and I fold it. So 
that time, last time I pulled it there, this time I'm thinking, go straight, don't go across the white. But 1v1 with a bit of skill. Next, shooting just off of a, a bit of skill, like a quick touch. So we just like this and miss the net. Now, as you can see, that's more difficult. Let me fix it. Let me fix that. I don't like these shots. I'm going to switch something. Better. Okay, like that. Off a turn. against the wall, but replicating, you're receiving the ball here, defender on your back, quick turn, and straight. And these you have to be careful, because on these I'm, the ball's getting away from me, and what I'm doing, because I'm getting a bit lazy, is I'm lining you for it, rather than moving my feet quickly enough to get there. So instead, I would want to do get on top of it. Now, another thing you can do if you have, I lost my little box, but let me see if this guy played me a pass. So if you have a teammate, obviously beautiful to practice shooting, different scenarios. Let's see if he wants to play with me. Straight. Let's go get a few. <laughs> and here you can always, like, yes, I'm practicing shooting, but I'm also practicing my skill and I'm making it match, match realistic. I'm getting fitness, I'm getting tired, I'm playing when I'm tired. Learn to play when you're tired, learn to play. Learn to be direct and dynamic when you're tired. Because a lot of us will start the game really well, but what happens is we get tired and then we disappear. So when you're tired, keep going a little bit longer. Push through it, look here. Playing a little pass with a teammate in different, different ways. And again, that quick release. Play here. Whoa, he doesn't want to pass with me. This one might not work. happen here again I'm thinking about blasting the ball making it look really cool for video really what I need to do is just focus on good technique technique produces power hit the net every time it's better for you to hit the net with not the hardest shot you can't score if you miss the net if you're trying to blast it every single time and you're missing the net you're not gonna score goals but those are some soccer shooting drills this is the featured subscriber for this video. If you'd like to be featured in future videos, hit that like button, drop a comment below, and let me know how my videos have helped you improve and achieve more in this sport.